a long day. <laughs> you, can, you can rest in 25 hours. Yeah. <laughs> Just got to the top of the big climb. <laughs> Halfway to the first aid station where I'll see Leah. Is this the road that the that the crew drives to get to our aid station? Uh, yes. Oh, okay. But nobody can come from the other way. Oh. You know I mean? So they'll be driving towards us. Oh, okay. Almost to aid station number two, Grafton Mesa. All right, so I'm two hours and 15 minutes in, almost 13 miles, 12.75, and Feeling pretty good. This uh, course is really pretty. Whoa, you people! How you doing, baby? Hey. Let's see, my watch just beeped. Mile 26. I am at four hours and 35 minutes. Mile 26. I've been running this first section probably too fast. Especially after we got off that top of that climb. I ran with a guy from Bozeman and we were just chatting, but just also running pretty fast. Um, and then I ran the wire mesa loop with a group and felt comfortable that it was fast. Kind of feel like I'm paying for it a little bit right now. So just keep moving, I'm trying to keep my calorie intake going. This course though is beautiful. So much great scenery rocks and trees and cliffs. Really amazing. Six hours and 14 minutes in, and I'm at 31.8 miles. I'm feeling this a lot. I ran, I think, too quickly the first 20 miles, so I'm feeling it now. I'm hoping 
start getting a second wind sometime soon. But, uh, yeah, it's, it's hurting. My feet hurt, my legs hurt, and I'm just tired. So, when I left the last aid station, Grafton A and number three, I nearly cried. I was just feeling emotional because I'm so tired. I'm walking up hills right now. Right now I'm walking up that. Well, the wind is really kicked up, but look at this view. Water slide. Daughter. Hello. Hi. I want you to see where I'm at. Okay. I'm at this out and back. Whoa. In a video from last year, a runner talked about how much the slick rock was hard to run on. This rock is so hard. It's hard to get running on it, and then it's just, just jars your whole body. And I didn't have any experience with it, so I didn't really know. But man, it does suck to run on. It pounds, and it's really uneven, so your ankles are just all over the place. But it just pounds you, pounds you, pounds you. Oh, so I'm at mile 42 something, and I'm eight hours and 48 minutes in. Feeling a little bit better, but this, uh, the pounding on my legs really hurts. So my legs hurt, although I'm able to run a little bit more. So I'm just looking forward to getting off this rock. It's gonna really help. All right, it's 3.44 p.m. and I just left the uh, Gooseberry, or is this, what is this aid station? I don't know, but it's mile 45.7 and now I'm heading downhill. This is the hill that we climbed up this morning. It's super steep and rocky as heck. Eight or something and we're in a different sort of terrain now 
walking up this ditch slash road that's uh, all water and wet. So that mesa up there behind me, that's where we were climbing earlier. We went out to that one point out on the end. Now we're running across the desert and uh, just crossed over 50 miles a little while ago. Just plugging along. I'm feeling tired, but I'm feeling better than I was. 25 miles ago, so just keeping on moving, one foot in front of the other. I have left the Virgin Desert Aid Station. So I'm around mile 40, 55, 54 something. Um, anyway, just cruising along. It's gonna be another 25 miles until I see Leah again at the next crude aid station. So by then, it'll be dark sun is starting to get lower and uh, oh, quite a day the Virgin Dam Aid Station. It's windy, windy, windy. That's a good sunset though. So next, next we start to head out and we're going to be moving up the hill soon. Okay, hope you can see me. We are on Smith Mesa now and uh, the climb up here was crazy. It was so long. And then we had another climb after the aid station. Um, but we are now making our way around. Oh, this is the wet spot. I don't know if you can see that. Wet, wet, wet. Okay, let's go up and around. So, mile 73 and just uh, cruising along here. Last 
several miles have been slow. So I'm hoping eventually to get moving again. Thank you. Anyway, hi. 80, mile 85 now. And uh, it's late. I've been running the last few hours with a Swiss runner named Stefan. We've been having fun. And uh, we just finished the climb up to the last aid station. We do a seven mile loop up here, hit the aid station one more time, and then it's seven or eight miles to the finish. So whew, we're in the last stretch here. And uh, yeah, hopefully I'll be able to record the finish or something. <sighs> quite a day, quite a day. All right. Well, I passed the last at eight station and I'm on the final two mile stretch to the finish. Whew. So we started over there, went over there, over there, and over there, all the way around. Okay, final stretch to the finish line. Look at the sunrise. I don't know if you can see it actually. Yeah. <sighs> 